Welcome, Eurovision fans! It is time to talk about France in 2019. France will be represented this year by Bilal Hassani with the song Rao. If I had to describe this song in one word, it's going to be gold. Now why? Well, there's a lot of references to crowns, God, shiny things. I don't know, listening to the song, it just felt like it had a, a gold texture about it. So, I don't know, just kind of random. That's kind of how my mind works sometimes. That's what I was thinking about the entire time I listened to the song, was gold. So, take it or leave it. That's just kind of what I came up with. So, Rao is a song sung in French and English. And it switches off between the two. It's a little confusing and hard to listen to at first. So you kind of have to get used to that a little bit, the quick transitions. Uh, but the singer is Bilal Hassani. And he's Moroccan in origin. And he's 19 years old in France. So there's actually quite a bit to dissect about the song. It's hard to make a lot of good without pointing out some of the bad, because this is one of those songs that it kind of balances back and forth. So, to be generous, I'll just do it all in one section here. First off, the voice. A lot of people are making comments about Bilal's voice being bad, and I actually kind of enjoy his lower range, but he has problems with any ascension of the voice, and has a lot of problems towards the end of the song, reaching those high levels. If he could fix the projection of his voice at the end of the verses, for example, or the course, chorus where it starts gaining steam, it will go a lot better. Uh, from what I saw here in Destination Eurovision, there was a lot of problems with anything high range. But the low bass voice, he, he really has an interesting voice. And I'll say that it's actually kind of very smooth and I guess silky, if you want to say. It's extremely interesting. I have never really heard a voice of that tone before, so yeah, I, I, I wouldn't say at all he's a bad singer. It's just he really needs to work on hitting the high parts, jumping up. So if they can get that smoothed out, that might be the uh, thing that helps them the most. Now, as far as the song itself, the message is great. It's an empowering song. Nobody can take me down. Nobody can take the crown. Only God can judge me. Uh, it's a nice message of empowerment without putting in another group down. Uh, it's about lifting yourself up. And yeah, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But the switching between French to English, where it's at, the places of that, it, it really kind of irritates the heck out of me because I'm trying to listen in, in one language and then you go to the other and go to the other and go to the end. It's too much. Like even with, I'm thinking of Requiem a couple years ago, at least that was only in the, in the chorus for a little bit. It wasn't the entire song. So uh, it's, this song is definitely kind of hard to listen to when you're sitting there trying to understand the words or, you know, not like I can speak French anyways, but I want to sit there and listen to the French. So hopefully maybe they would keep it in French and cut out the English, but probably not. This is probably going to be about what we're going to get for Eurovision itself. So I'll say, you know, the tone of his voice is very strong and the song is empowering strong message but a little hard to listen to a little difficult so yeah i kind of got to balance the the bad with the good on this one so what's my rating gonna be at the moment i'm gonna give this song a four out of ten i know that seems a little low but there is time to raise it uh maybe it'll grow on me a little bit i just have pro problems mostly with the song structure and i mentioned his voice hitting the higher notes. But the structure itself for me brings it down to that level. Uh, I think, you know, he's a decent singer and he's got good stage presence. I think they have a good 
stage dynamic with the dancers. We'll see what they bring to Israel, but there's a lot. This, this song is a work in progress, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, it can go better, but where it's at right now, I just four is really as high as I'm willing to go with it. So is the song a contender or a pretender at Eurovision 2019? Uh, I've got to be completely honest. The song gets extremely mixed reviews from what I've seen, and the perf performance at Destination Eurovision left a lot to be desired. I don't think this is going to win over the crowd like Mickey from Spain. And right now, out of the three songs I've heard from Eurovision, this is clearly my number three song. So, yeah, I, this is a pretender. It's not going to win. It could finish respectably if they make the right fixes and changes and have a nice stage performance. We'll have to see. I just have to call it a pretender. I don't, do not believe this is your winner at Eurovision 28, 2019. I said 2018. It's funny, it's still locked in my head even from last year. Well, this is a new section I'm adding to my video and this is my numerical order for each country to show potential biases for or against a country, just so I can clearly point out that my opinions change every year and I don't hold grudges to countries because people accuse content creators of that all the time. So I'm going to show you my numerical value for each country. So in 2015, I had France at number 33 in... 2016, I had France in the top 20. In 2017, I had France in my top 10. And then last year with Mercy, I had France at number 40. It just wasn't a song that I connected with at all. So, yeah, I, France is probably this year going to be middle to lower tier. But, again, I'm not saying it's a terrible song by any means. It's smooth, it's not annoying at all, it's got some good qualities, but it needs a little bit of work, and hopefully Team France will get that fixed up right before Eurovision. Thank you for watching my review of France at Eurovision 2019. Well, we're going to have quite a few videos to pump out here in the next few days. There's a lot of selections going on. I am getting my feet under me. As you can tell, I'm a little out of practice and I intend on remedying that and getting back to hopefully making decent reviews. Once I get over my nerves, this is actually the first video I have recorded, but France will be the first, or I'm sorry, Spain will be the first video out. So, yeah, that's why this one's a little rough, as this is the first one for 2019, my first video in nine months, but it's all good. Gotta start somewhere again, right? For now, this is the Lethargic Sloth, and I'm out. Thanks for watching.